All right, so we'll demonstrate two different ways to send an SMS via message board. First, we'll use the general purpose HTTP action. As a reminder, you can use this to send any API call you want. I've set it up to call the message bird endpoint, and I've provided a token that I got from the message bird service. This is just a test token. I've specified the content type, important. We'll get back to that. And then I've provided a JSON body payload. You could assemble this in a text template perhaps, or if you have a static value, you can simply type it in like I have here. And I can test this out, and I've gotten a successful status code, status equals sent, total sent count equals one. So I have successfully submitted this SMS into the message bird system. And um, I mentioned content type, make sure you include this. If you don't, you can get into some very confusing trouble. Uh, this is what happens when you don't specify the content type. You get an unprocessable entity. The error messages here, uh, as is the case with a lot of parsing problems, the error messages can be misleading. Here I'm seeing errors about originator and recipients, uh, but the real problem when I finally sort of figured things out was that Salesforce was sticking all these extra backslashes into the call out, like so. And that was really gumming up the works. And that was happening because I didn't have the content type set. So make sure that you set content type to application JSON when you're trying to make an HTTP call, unless you know that it's a different content type, which is not common, but certainly possible. So this is useful, but setting up the perfect JSON is you know, not anything you really want to deal with, and you shouldn't have to worry about setting content type. That's a developer concept, really. So what I've done here is created a uh, installable action that that focuses on this particular send SMS pathway. And all you have to do here is provide these four values. So let's try that out. And we'll take the output and throw it into a screen. And we have the same results. So we have here, we have total sent count one, status equals sent. So uh, if you want to send SMS using MessageBird, try this installable package. Um, and if you generally want the power to send to any API, make sure you take a look at Make HTTP Call. Thanks a lot.